How's it going star seekers? My name's Luke and welcome back to the channel and another asset flip warning video. Now in just over a week's time on the 28th of August, we're going to be marking a momentous occasion for the Switch eShop because on that day, the wonderful wankers over at Pixar's will be releasing a game called Hammer 2 Reloaded. Now the game itself is a third person action game where you play as this shade worry motherfucker and you basically run around each level blasting enemies and vehicles to bits with the odd boss battle interjecting the meaningless violence every few levels. Now if you're wondering why this is such a big deal, it's because when Hammer 2 Reloaded drops, it won't be the first time, it won't be the second time, it'll be the third time that this asset flip has been released on the Switch by a so called developer. Now if you've never heard of Hammer 2 Reloaded, it's basically the mother of all asset flips and it's one of the most notorious asset flips of all time. Available as Hammer 2 on the Unity Asset Store, the game can be found just about anywhere from Steam to the Apple and Android app stores to a million and one different browser based game sites. It also goes by a number of different names depending on where you look, but on the Switch eShop, aside from this latest Pixar's iteration, Hammer 2 Reloaded, you also have The Bullet Time of Revenge by Art Game Studio, which I produced a genuine review for before I even knew what it was, and then you have another version called Max Reloaded 2, released by Max Interactive Studio. Now apart from having a model swap for the main character, Max Reloaded 2 is identical to the other two titles, and I had actually produced another video when this second version of the game came out, but seeing it now published for a third time just really grips my shit and it really just goes to show how little Nintendo care about the eShop and its consumers. Having three versions of the same asset flip on the eShop is just a complete fucking joke and it's about time Nintendo pulled the finger out of the cash filled assholes and did something about developers like Pixar's, Benjamin Kistler and all of the other scamming fuck faces who think it's okay to sell asset flips to unsuspecting buyers. The Switch eShop is already a shovelware minefield which makes it hard for smaller indie game developers to get noticed, but asset flippers are becoming ever more prevalent on the eShop and you may be surprised at the extent of the problem. Now I'm currently working on a video which will highlight just how bad things are getting and I know that a lot of people probably don't give a shit about this kind of thing but if like me you do actually care then I urge you to share this video wherever you can and with as many people as you can. Now I know I've asked this before to very little effect but I'll continue to ask it and I'll continue to make these asset flip warning videos in the hopes that one day we might actually get to browse an eShop populated with actual games produced by actual genuine people and Pixarts and all the other scummy bastards will have to find somewhere else to flog the shite. It's unlikely but you never know. Anyway, that's about it for this rant and this asset flip warning video on Hammer 2 Reloaded. If you want to find out more about Pixarts and some of the other asset flips I've highlighted then you can check out my asset flip playlist linked below and I'll no doubt be back with another asset flip warning video soon, so subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified of these and of the reviews that I put out for actual games. As always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video and until next time, take care of yourselves and game on.